what's up welcome back to another video today we're gonna be cooking up with the subscribers melody my boy vitals very talented man you can look him up on youtube and yeah we're just gonna get straight into it but before we do that i didn't get to properly announce in our last video some pretty big news we got a song with drake what drake <laughs> drake we got a song with drake did it let's go if you guys want me to break down the melody that i did for the drake song called talk to me they even named it after my melody which is kind of crazy i got to sing on the track as well but let me know if you guys want me to show how i did that there's gonna be a lot of stems i'm gonna see if i can recover all of them but yeah let me know if you guys would be interested in that and showing how i made the melody for that we hit the producer lottery the producer jackpot you know what i'm saying and i just wanted to say shout out to you guys i'm so grateful you guys don't even know i know that a lot of you guys have the same goal of you know working with drake and all of these other artists and yeah i want to help make that possible for you guys so i'm trying to collaborate with you guys i do charge now for the collabs because it's getting a little hectic but i'm still trying to help you guys get your dream placements and just make great music overall yeah so if you're interested in that make sure you go hit my instagram and while you're there go ahead and hit that like button on the new post you know what i'm saying the I even put the little sample in one of the slides for the Instagram post. So make sure you go check that out. Make sure you go check that out and hit that follow button. Might as well comment while you're on the picture as well. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Crazy. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and download that. So for this, I'm still trying to send stuff for Drake. I'm trying to hit the lottery again, but let's see what let's see what we can do. Before I even start on the drums and stuff, whenever I have a sample, whether I made it or not, I like to, you know, mess around with the BPM, mess around with the pitch, see what really catches my ear and what makes me feel something. That's really what matters the most. Like that's kind of hard. But I like that BPM of 92 though. So I think we're just gonna pitch it down, but keep that BPM. Whenever I'm trying to do different stuff, I really like to add in like a bunch of perks and like hi-hat stuff and just really get the bounce down before I do anything. Oh, I like that. That's hard. That could be hard. Ugh, that's kind of hard. I think we might pitch it down though. Kind of want to do like a combination of kicks like. might layer it with another kick that kind of hits a little Ooh, it's just too smooth mm. hey if you guys know any crazy drum kits or anything that i should look into i'm really trying to invest back into the community comment below some crazy kits that should cop oh my That'll sound way better when we add like reverb and soften it up a little bit. I like doing my drums this way in no particular order because the bounce usually comes out different than it would if I just started with hi-hats and did a little two-step and then added a clap and then added the 808s type shit, you know what I'm saying? I think just doing shit differently and operating differently and try to change up how you do shit is really gonna affect the bounce and just like your creativity overall. Just change up how you approach shit, you know what I'm saying? Maybe do the drums first instead of the melody. Maybe start with something you wouldn't usually start with. Just change it up. Put a little EQ on it, cut some lows out real quick. You could even add a, little, add a little reverb if you want it. Soften it up. There we go. Like, maybe add that note. And then we'll add like a consistency. That's what was really missing for this uh this beat. We got some consistent sounds, right? But we need something that really uh speeds it up. So we're gonna go ahead and find a little hi-hat real quick. Mm -hmm. 
that's kind of hard and then add some pauses Ugh. that's crazy hold on hold on stop playing with me stop playing with me there we go take out every other one sometimes you know sometimes you're feeling a bounce and then sometimes later you you just change your mind and that's fine Ooh, that's kind of hard what the fuck how do i I don't even know how to operate FL, bro. I've been using shit for like 10 years. Crazy. Stop the cap. <laughs> I fuck with that. Simple. Simple, but small changes. Now we did a little open hi-hat. And then we're going to do some like rolls that have that reminiscent feel of uh, nothing was the same type, type vibes. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, and then we add like a little double one. I'm gonna change the open eye out of sound as well. That's crazy. And then we'll add this, see if we like a different pitch. I'm really indecisive about which pitch I like. I don't know if that's just me. Y'all let me know in the comments if you like that too, but I really, I could sit there and fuck with the pitch for like a cool 15 minutes on its own, so. And I'm gonna show y'all how I'm mixing. Uh, it's very simple, I'm not gonna lie to you. So we got the melody on the one. Uh, I like to keep my shit separate. I know a lot of y'all get on my neck for separating shit on the mixer track, y'all don't fuck with that. Usually I'll do it to where I have the drums on like one through 20, and then I'll have the melody be on like 21 through whatever. But I'll just do a light mixing. I'll turn off the sound shifter shit cause it kind of changes the sound, add stuff to what sounds dry. If anything's too loud, we usually turn it down on the little channel rack. Pan some shit sometimes. That's why. And I feel like Drake's really been on some simplistic shit. Even on Scary Hours 2 that he just dropped, it's really just been on some simplistic shit. Like the melodies and shit are simple. Everything's just really, he's on his rap shit again. And I'm loving it. Let me know what you guys think about the kind of shit he's been hopping on recently, if you fuck with it or not. Um, and I think that's about it for this beat. As you can see, it was some light ass leveling. I messed with like three knobs on the channel rack. I messed with a few more, but you get the point. It's really just about having your sounds at the right level, picking good sounds. So shout out to Cryptic. Make sure you go check his kits out as well as mine. You know what I'm saying? Mine are in the description below. Let me know what you guys think about the beat. Let me know what you guys think about what Drake's been hopping on. I'm glad to be back. I'm going to be live streaming soon and I hope it inspires you guys i'm not trying to be on some weird braggy shit uh i hope it didn't come off that way and yeah let's let's get to this money though let's go <laughs> all right y'all take it easy i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video